everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Today I'm going to be making a tier list of all the Metroid games. And we're going to look at all of them. And as you can see, I've already created my rankings here. We've got S, A, B, C, D, and F all the way at the bottom here. And like I said, we're going to look at all of the games here. So we're going to start off with Metroid Prime... Oh, is this Pinball? Yeah, Pinball. So Metroid Prime Pinball, it's... Pinball. I mean, it's not really much to say there. Just Pinball. And because of that, we're just going to put it in C rank because it's not something that's great, but it's not something that's, you know, bad either. It's pinball. Now, let's see what I've got here. we got Super Metroid. Super Metroid is a good game. It's fun. It really helped with setting up uh, the, well, the core. I won't say necessarily the core, but it really started to push things with the series. But I think because of the way the physics engine works, it really can't be put up too high there. So we're just going to put it right there in A rank right there. Now we've got AM2R. This is another game that is great, and it's really done. It's really been a very great remake of Metroid 2, and really does so much, especially when you take the Zero Mission engine. And it's just so, oh, I love this game so much. But I still don't think that because that Metroid 2's concept isn't necessarily a perfect thing. So because of that, I'm just gonna have to hold it at A rank as well. But it's still a great game. Metroid, the original Metroid, it's been, it's dated, like, let's, let's be honest, it's really dated, and the only reason you'd really want to play this game is for nostalgia only, and maybe if you really just want to, like, get into the real origin of the game, so because of that, we really have, uh, we're just going to have to put it in D, I, I'm sorry for all of those people who played the original game, but it's really dated, and, oh wow, look at this, Metroid 2, like, this is a game that also, there's really no reason to come back to this game. I mean, it's probably even less of a reason to come back to this game than Metroid. And I'll see, maybe, depending on how I feel, I might boost up Metroid 1. But Metroid 2, there's really no reason to go back to play this game. Like, I've played this, you really, do, yeah, just skip this. Play, play the remakes. Now, Metroid Fusion, this is a good game here. Uh... It's, this game is has stood up and held up well, and it's really got a perfect atmosphere to it. It's really got you on sus in suspense a lot of times, so we've got to put this right here in S rank. It's a really great game. This game, it's got problems, yes. It's It's got some pretty bad characterization sometimes, you know, and there are a lot of problems you could have with the story, but the gameplay is pretty good outside of the first person element, so we're going to... And we'll put it in B rank. We'll put it in B rank. Let's do that. We'll be nice. This was a very fun game here. This was... It's 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 nearly perfect in my eyes. <laughs> I mean, I, you can start this game up today. It still looks beautiful. And I'm not even talking about playing this in an emulator. Like, uh, as much as... Trust me, an emulator is beautiful and gorgeous. But you could put this game in an original GameCube. Start it up. And it still is wonderful and it's so much fun to play as play as well i mean there, you can't really argue with this so we're gonna put this game right in s rank because it deserves that spot prime 2 is a very good game and i really would want to put this up here in s rank but there are just a couple of things that i guess personally it doesn't i'm not as attached to this game as i am with prime just just a little bit just a little bit mind you um but it definitely has, it definitely is a solid game in its own right. So we're going to still keep it in A rank because it's so close to getting there, but not quite. Alright, and Prime 3, it's a good game in its own right. However, the controls I think are one of the reasons why I wouldn't want to put it up there. Just because I have had a couple of issues just because of lining up. And I've actually readjusted my uh, motion bar a couple times because of the fact that it still, sometimes it, the, uh, my Wii Remote just went off and wasn't being detected. And like I said, I did this a couple times before <laughs> that happened. But it's still a pretty fun game though. But I still would not, I would not put this in the same category as Prime 1 or 2. So we're gonna put it right here in B rank. Now let's see, where can we put this game? This, you know, a game of this caliber. We're gonna put it somewhere. We're gonna put it right here. Prime Hunters, this is a game that Eh, it's really praised for its multiplayer aspects, which, you know, I can agree is a very fun, but as a Metroid game, 
it's just mediocre like you really i i come back to this game every now and then just to see if it gets better or not but it's really just not that great so we're gonna have to put this in searing i mean it's like i said it's meh and really the only redeeming factor is the multiplayer aspect which you can't even use anymore because the servers are dead samus returns it's a good game and it's definitely you know something that i would recommend playing however it's going to age whoops it's going to age poorly because of the graphics i mean because it's not a sprite based game it, it's it was made for the 3ds and 3ds graphics are going to age horribly also the fact that i wasn't a fan of the counter and the free aim and i've mentioned this before in previous metroid game uh, videos but also the 30 frames per second yeah yikes uh especially considering that every other 2d metroid game is in 60 frames per second and after playing AM2R, because I played that AM2R after Samus Returns, in gameplay, it trounces Samus Returns in every aspect. So we're going to have to put that right here in B rank. Oh yeah, and we've got my baby. We've got the creme de la creme, the apex of 2D Metroid games. Like, this game has it all. It has music. It has the perfect physics engine for a Metroid game. It's beautiful. It's perfect for speed running. You can get 100% completion. It's glorious. I mean, it's not. It's definitely short once you understand it, how the game works. And if you've beaten it like maybe a couple times, you can beat this game in like less than two hours. But it is so glorious. And I have to put this right here. So, yeah, so here we go. We have the full ranking. We've got our S games here, our A games here, B, C, D the thing that Metroid decides to acknowledge. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will catch you all next time. So until then, I am Zerikon signing off. Have a good one.